Adding activities is the next step after WBS. When you have created work breakdown structure in P6, you will insert activities under that WBS. Activity is main work and the smallest portion of a project which is used in planning, tracking and controlling. How an activity play a role in planning? Create an activity, insert activity duration and link activities with relationships. Before starting with Primaveral, let's check the draft in Excel. This column is activities under related WBS. With their duration, relations, type of relations, lags, and later we will add other columns step by step. We will write all these columns in Primavera. I'm in Activities window. Also, this icon represents activities. Any time when you want to go to activities, you can press it. You see all WBSs which I have created before. When I want to add activity, I select its related WBS, then press on Insert or this plus icon. I press the icon. Here you see I need to fill activity ID and activity name. I don't fill activity ID. It fills automatically, but later I will talk about it. I type the name. Then next. Here it asks about related WBS, which we have selected before, but if your activity is not under the mentioned WBS, so you can change it by clicking on these three dots. I press next. Here it asks about activity type. Okay, let's talk about activity types in P6. We have six activity types in P6. The first one is finish milestone. You know, it is a milestone without duration. But just have a finish day. For indicating the completion of a phase, we use finish milestone. The next one is level of effort. This type is not independent in nature. The duration of level of effort depends on its predecessor and successor activity. The start and end date of this type is equal to the earliest start and end date of its predecessor and successor activity. Resource dependent activity. It gets its working days from calendar. So its duration set upon the calendar of which the resources are assigned to it. In other words, if the resource has some non-working days in its calendar, so the activity is non-working during that period. A star milestone shows an important project phase with its start date. In other words, it shows the beginning of a phase and it is lack of duration. Task dependent uses the activity calendar and the finish date of an activity is calculated according to this calendar. Most of the activities are task dependent. And the last one is WBS summary. It is a batch of activities. A start date of WBS summary is the earliest start date and finish date is the latest finish date of the activities in the WBS group. Because this activity is a milestone, so I need to choose between finish milestone or star milestone. My project starts with this activity. So, it is a star milestone. So, I choose a star milestone, then press on next. Here, I choose no, because I don't have any activities, so I can assign not existed activity to this one. So, I press no and next. Here, also it is no and next. Good, we have created an activity and finish group. Okay. 
For the next activity, I select WBS of that activity or the activity above it and press insert from keyboard. Second activity is structural works. I type the name of my activity here. The third one is facade. Fit out and map. Creating activities under Milestone WBS is finished. You see, by pressing insert from keyboard, there is no place to choose the type of the activity. I select my activity. On General tab from Activity Type, I select the type of the activity. These all are finished milestones. I want to see the finish dates. So, these are finish milestones. It is not needed to change activity type one by one. I just changed the activity type of the top activity into finish milestone. Then, I right click on columns, select columns, from general select activity type, press this add to list button. I want to see activity type after activity name. I bring it after the activity name and press on OK. Now I select my activity, press Shift from keyboard and select the last activity. I right click then fill down. All are changed to finish milestone. You know, milestone does not contain any duration, so it is OK. I don't give any duration. Now I jump on structural works. The first activity is civil works. This is task dependent, it is OK. The duration is one day. I create the second one also. I type it. Also task dependent and the duration is three days. So now you can also copy paste all activities from Excel file to Primavera. You can see the duration and activity name there. Also, all are task dependent. I want to show you how to change the default activity duration. When I create a new activity, you see on planned duration as a default, it is written a number. Here it is five. If you want to change this default number, go to admin, Admin Preferences, from Activity Duration, you can change it. I give two. Then Close. When I create a new activity, you can see it is changed into two.